the Hawaiian Pro round number four, heat number one. And we've got a good one for you right here. Heat one, Thomas Hermes, Adrian Ace Bucket, Stu Kennedy, and Jeremy Flores. Wow, some real serious surfers. Uh, we've seen the top competitors have to make through one heat. And during break, we saw Adrian Bucken. Oh, speaking of business, this guy, very smooth operator and uh, Ace Bucken. He's going to slice and dice his way to some sweet scores. And here we go, Jeremy Flores, Dave found a little left. Jeremy on the left, splitting the peak with Thomas Hermes. And Jeremy, oh, what balance. What a balancing act to make that happen. Flores has had quite a year, number eight on the World Championship Tour, number 14 after only four events doing QS. I'm telling you, if he gets a big result here, he's going to climb the ladder. He's 14. He could get into the top 10. That's the uh, objective for these guys. A lot of points. Thomas Hermes, smooth cat. He, uh, he is always uh, a, a big fan of rail work. You know he's going to work on that rail surfing and uh, lean into some really pretty carves. And Jeremy Flores getting pretty loose on that left right there but again these lefts are pretty tricky so it's all about kind of finding those smaller lefts that really reel down the line to allow you to open up that yeah, wouldn't really factor in because he's going to be a double qualifier if he does get in the top 10 on the qs he did miss one event as we take a look uh, waves are starting to build up again sometimes they go flat sometimes you get some rain it's just a change looking to launch there's the rotation and speaking of launches and rotations, guys are going crazy here. And I'm going to apologize because what I called, I had Matt Ramirez, who's a skate expert, and he's running the van show here. I, I thought it was an indie grab. He says, you know, it's an indie grab only when you're going on your backside. And that was the front side with the tap. So there we go. Either way, it's surfing, and they're rotating. No grab right there. And Stu Kennedy taking no prisoners in this competition. Yeah, that was a really quick air reverse there from Stu Kennedy. So, uh, you know, looking really fast. And uh, it, that's kind of going to be the real, I think that's the thing that can separate you from the field today, is if you could look like you're flying down the line with a lot of speed and not bog any rails, you know, the waves are pretty small. But it's not so small that it's really an issue, but it's more the wind, Dave. And I was telling you about that earlier. It's a totally different than anything I've been at it in its early days, but the Eco Festival, they, they're really conscious of their forests and the, the waters and the streams and everything. It's just a wonderful location. That's always a good sign, but I'm impressed with his talent. You know, again, these waves are not difficult, or are very difficult to look good, in, and uh, he was ripping out there. Yeah, it's like he's got the lottery ticket, but he doesn't expect to win. Watch out. He could win, and he could be on the tour. The backhand attack for Stu Kennedy. Kennedy is a hard charger. Stewie, Lennox Head, the 25-year-old, brings it to the inside. Not exactly what he wanted on that wave. He's number 15. He needs a huge result here, I think. And here we go with a lot of speed. Thomas Hermes. And non-stop speed. He came. He comes into this event the number 87 seed, and he's taken down some big names. Uh, such an impressive snap. Watch the tail release. I mean, you talk about spanking a lip. Boom. That was super impressive right there. Uh, the board is looking spot on. I think it's a little Daniel Thompson a firewire there, so a lot of pep under his feet. And then uh, just laying butter on butter. Thomas Hermes, so smooth. I love these clean wraps. Finishes off the wave with a little vertical wipe. So these guys are ripping. It's very impressive. It's kind of a beast in hollow waves, too. A little bit underrated in uh, places like Chopu and Pipe. He'll give it a go. It's like a, a piece of spaghetti. So it's very, you don't want anything bogging you down. You got to have everything flowing. Here we go, Jeremy. Speaking of flowing, Jeremy Flores, he does work in his first priority. He's got a 617 to start off with, puts everything into it. Beach breaks, big waves, barrels. Jeremy Flores is out to win a, a triple crown title. Here's Bucken on another one. Bucken's got a setup here, nice wrap on the soft part. It's going to stand up and he's going to chase this section. It goes right to the roof of that wave. And it goes down. There, is there a little bit of backwash? A little bit of warble out there? Uh, nothing to be concerned of. You know, uh, the backwash is pretty minimal. I think uh, Ace Bucking just kind of chucked the fins a little bit there. And uh, that was uh, uncharacteristic of Ace. Usually he comes out of those. But I really liked the way he surfed on that wave. Bigger set wave here for Jeremy Flores. Kind of an arcing backhand snap there. And then finished it off with a, another whip. So Jeremy, three pretty big moves on a... On a on a big set wave for today's standards. 
Here's that smooth style from Ace. How's that? He wiped that speed off and then straight into that little lip climb. Very clever surfing. And uh, I like the fact that he picked up on, on, the, on the whole vibe of, you know what, I'm, getting, I'm pretty mellow on this wave. I'm going to go ahead and throw some flair into it in my last maneuver. You, know, you really have to mix it up a little bit. We see the goofy foots uh, going to the air on that closeout section. Um, Matt Wilkinson looked really sharp, but he just came up against a really informed a uh, couple of surfers. Yeah, it looked like, you know, he was, you know, like you said, you have to do a little bit more cutbacks, so, you know, when, when it, you can't go vertical like you can on the backhand, but this guy right here, he took full advantage of these lefts. Jats and Andre, seemed like he had a little bit more gas in the tank than the other competitors, a lot of speed. As we take a look at our surfer in white, uh, finds himself in fourth. Yeah, Bucko right here. Again, just uh, effortless flow for him. He never seems to make the wrong choice on a wave, but uh, getting cut short. You can see Stu eyeballing that ramp. Another very aggressive air right there. Perfect rotation. It was so fast, I'm not sure. He might even got a little grab in there. But again, I'm just really impressed with how fast and how much speed uh, Stuart Kennedy is getting on these waves. You know, there's not a whole lot of power out there right now. And Stu Kennedy is flying, so. Uh, he needs a... Oh, he well, got he, it. He got it. Dave. Yeah, he, he jumped into second place. That 6.77 seven, seven takes him up to second. Hermes drops to third, now needs a 5.83. Oh, we had a lot of action, didn't we, during that yeah. little uh, highlight package there. Jeremy, you know, he's had the right uh, rhythm in this heat. He's been on all the waves that are, you know, almost overhead. So uh, he's, been, he's been surfing really well in these waves, but you'd see definitely in rhythm with the big set waves. And uh, I think that 7.73 has really pushed him into a pretty comfortable lead. He's got a lot of experience. I mean, four times he's been invited to the World Tour this year. He's served J-Bay, Trestles, France, and Portugal. So this guy right here is uh, doing double duty, his 15th event of the year. And he is such a gregarious guy with a big smile on his face and so stoked to be in this event. Look at the energy he's put in every turn, his rail work, his leg strength. And is there any wave left on this? Because he's to the inside and just about ready to give a uh, the guy's on the beach, a high five. <laughs> I'm about ready to give him a high five. That was amazing surfing from Tomas. So, I, you know, I'm feeling he's going to get way above that 5.83 that he needs now. And uh, Ace Bucking on the left-hander. Again, always makes the correct decision, kind of drawing a deep bottom turn there. But that's the tricky thing about these lefts. They, they just have an uneven pace. They go slow, and then they go fast. This was a dreamy right-hander, one of the better rights we've seen uh, in a couple of heats. And uh, Thomas Hermes firing in all cylinders. A little bit of everything there, a clean off the lip, nice snap, and then a, a perfect carve roundhouse. So, I mean, this is just textbook great surfing from Tomas Hermes. I'd love to see a big score pop up out of that. But the waves are not cooperating. Bucken's got third priority, got a yield. Jeremy Flores. Looks right, goes left. Here's your heat leader trying to better a 6.17. He knows that. Oh. Well, looks like he ditched that, knew that wave was going to close out. Hermes, third priority, giving it a look. He didn't look right at all. He's been looking at this left the whole time. Backhand attack for this surfer, 28 years old, out of uh, Santa Catarina, Brazil. And still making these sections. He ah, gets just a little funky edge. over there. Now and then a little bump and funk. Priority, yellow. Kennedy, take a look at him. Beautiful set coming through. He takes the first wave, really pivots on the tail nicely. Lennox head surfer, Stu Kennedy, pound a little nugget to the inside and taps it oh, off. A blow sick. tail, kind of a little waft out the back. Bucking now, forget those uh, lefts. He's on his backhand on the right towards the toilet bowl. Yeah, I don't tell you, he's grinding his teeth. He's in fourth right now. Jeremy Flores. Jeremy is bound and determined to get through this. You can just see the energy on his face. Now it's a paddle battle, it looks like, and it serves, looks like uh, Stu Kennedy's gonna get first priority. Thomas Hermes grabbed himself a 7.3. He actually jumped into first place, so Stu Kennedy is gonna actually need a score to jump into second place. He's all the way down at third. This is gonna be a non-factor here for Ace. Uh, can't see that being a keeper, so that was big. And you know what, Stu Kennedy, hammered this wave and he surfed so well watch the speed nice tail release straight into a nice little carve and this tail slide right here right on the money uh, and then he had to finish it with that little tail blast right there that's one of my favorite waves in this heat uh, i would love to see that score go excellent so what a finish for Stu. 
The heat is over with. They've got three scores that are being posted right now that are basically throwaway scores. They won't factor in even if there's a triple count back. The score we're waiting on is Stu Kennedy. So Jeremy right Flores now. is in the hot seat. You know, Stu Kennedy, I, I think he should get that score, but it's up to the judges. What's with Thomas Aramis? Unbelievable how he just fires back again. Stu's on the beach waiting. There you go. 8.5. Let's see the smile on his face. There it is. And the hug. Phew. Sigh of relief. So Stu Kennedy not only jumps up into a transfer spot, he wins the heat. Thomas Hermes comes in second, Jeremy Flores third, and Adrian Buchan is a fourth place surfer.